Okay guys, this is where the tricky part comes in. Getting into the tube. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try these VV Grackles in the petrified color first. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Whoo, that was a big run. That was a big freaking run. That feels heavy. That feels heavy. <laughs> that is the toad that we just reeled in. I don't have my waterproof case on me. Is it gonna be okay in the rain? What do you mean you don't know? Okay, we gotta get the fins in there. Got some tackle, big box and creative special stuff. Always need the slides. Gotta get the chosen ones in there. And last but not least, this is gonna be great. What is up guys, welcome to a beautiful overcast day out here in Arizona and what is a better thing to do when it's not hot than go fishing. So I got the lake behind me here, I have pops over there blowing up a float tube and that's what we're doing today. We are fishing out of float tubes, I'm so so stoked for this. Goal today though, I recently received a sponsorship in a bait from Vulture Baits and today we're going to be trying to catch bass on all the baits that he sent me. So we got VB Condors, an awesome craw bait in his zombie color. We have VB Invaders, which are an insanely good speed worm in his watermelon lime color. We then have some VB Buzzards, an awesome beaver bait in his American bug color. And last but not least, some VB Grackles in his amazing, amazing petrified color. So we're going to be fishing all these baits today. Vulture, thank you so much for the shipment. We are going to be trying to catch some Mondos on it. The lake is right there. We just have to hike it down now. Let's do this. Into the woods. Into the woods. Ha ha ha. Uh, oh, that's backwards. I'm, I'm foot doing that backwards. There we go. How dandy and nice is that, Pops? Okay, guys, this is where the tricky part comes in. Getting into the tube. First things first, I gotta get these things off. Okay, Rod. Don't die or go anywhere. Flippers, you wait right there. This guy. What is this guy? Ooh. What? What the heck? Dude. How are you supposed to get into this thing? Oh, it's a Velcro strap. I thought it was connected. That's awkward. We grab flipper number one. We put flipper number one on. Tighten the living heck out of it. So we lose flipper number one. Pull it up tight to your toes so you don't get all scrunchy. Put it on. Tighten the heck out of it. Y'all know the drill at this point. And just like that, we are off and I'm gonna start fishing already. So I gotta figure out what vulture bait I'm gonna throw first. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try these VB Grackles in the petrified color first. What do you think, Pops? We actually got a yes. Now, I, I don't know, up to you. So I'm feeling confident then, y'all. Working the Texas rig as per usual. Oh, dude, it feels good to be back in a tube. If you guys can't tell, I am wearing waders. Not because it's cold outside, simply because I forgot a towel, so I don't want to get wet and then get my seat in the truck all wet. So, yeah, but we're gonna try this worm out. I've never tried anything remotely close to this petrified color. It's overcast though, and it's a slightly brighter orange, so I'm gonna try to throw slightly brighter colors. Pops is leaving me in the dust. He's all the way out there by that boat. That motor is so stinking loud, even underwater. Here we go. I forgot my poncho if it rains. So if it does, we are screwed, but who cares? Let's do this, guys. Texas rig is out. We're gonna cast it straight into those trees like an absolute champion, because we are one. Ah, oh, freaking heck. Yeah, bumped over the snag. Already off to a good start. Positive vibes from the universe. And we're already sweating, people. Hippie Kaye lets you know that it's gonna be a great day of fishing when you're sweating in like two minutes of doing it. Oh, we just lost one at the dock. It's okay, buddy. I'm cheering for you. <laughs> this man is cheering me on. What a legend. Shout out to you, person. He just sent me all of his good vibes. He sent me his good vibes. So here we go. What are you catching him on, though? What color? You know, I said it's overcast, and you guys look forward, and this guy's like super blue, but behind me, it's like a, I don't know, looks kind of evil that way. Oh, oh, we got a fish. We got a fish, guys. Frick yeah, that's on Petrified. That's a new color, entirely new color. Woohoo! Heck yes. Look at that hump. Oh my gosh, look at that hump. This thing's flopping. I got to get control of him. Oh, don't put that hook into my thumb, okay? That would suck. Oh, he bit my worm in half. He freaking bit my worm in half. 
My ride. All heck's breaking loose on the float tube, y'all. There we go. Okay. Rod's back in the tube. Look at the hump on that bass. That is the weirdest thing ever. Oh, freaking heck. He ate, ate that thing. But look at that hump. What the heck? Y'all see that? That's crazy. So, putting on a new worm now. After that first bass turned my finesse worm into a net worm. This is cool, guys. New color. Vulture baits BB Grackles, his, in his uh, finesse worms. So this was a sponsored shipment. So this is freaking awesome, and we're catching them on them. They're the sick color. Uh, this one's got a scent to it. I want to say the scent's cappuccino by smelling it. I don't actually know. It smells really freaking good though. So I know like I don't see why I wouldn't eat it. But did you see the hump on that bass? That thing had a hump, and that was freaking weird. I was kind of worried with the overcast. You know, we've been having really bad storms past two days i was kind of worried that they was going to kind of shut the fish up but no they are here in rich abundance it's funny because i always see people fishing like off the dock you know they'll have their boat like parked right in the middle of, like the boat ramp and stuff and they'll be fishing and i always think they're crappie fishing but apparently you can catch bass that close into the boat ramp too i think that is the closest to a boat ramp i've ever caught a bass that's a crane look at that guy hey dude i loved your appearance in kung fu panda freaking kung fu panda best shells in the world guys we got a fish on fish number two this one was fighting pretty hard i don't know how big he is yet he feels pretty light when i'm lifting up though he doesn't feel super huge but he does feel great yeah there he is he's not huge just a small little feisty guy oh i think i was wrapped up in a tree when i first hooked him Ooh, watch the hook buddy when i first hooked him because he felt really heavy when i first hooked him and i got all oh, all the stack about it you know and stuff but hey we are catching them nonetheless that is once again same color worm vulture baits vb grackle come on buddy there we go vb grackle in the petrified color giving my rod tip the uh, occasional lift up and bump just to kind of give that one a little bit more action i'm not going too fast i'm not going too slow Kind of going in a moderate slow action and that's a oh we pulled through heck yes we pulled through the snag what's a better feeling guys than pulling through a snag correct answer there isn't one I'm trying to go out to deeper slightly deeper water stay a little bit more offshore see if i can catch something bigger because so far both the best i've caught have been in like the one pound range you know how cool it'd be if we caught like a new pv out of a float tube <sighs> that'd be so cool if we just got like some crazy bycatch like some big carp or oh Fish on. At least I think so. Yep. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Oh, I don't know how big he is, though. He doesn't feel. Yeah, he's a little small one. Oh, he's really small. That was a pressure bite. So that's that bite where I'm talking about where you just have a weight, and it just feels like it's coming towards you. That way. Ooh. Whoo. Almost got, got me with the hook there. He's a really, really small guy. But nonetheless, we got another fish. A little dinker, dude. Let's see you, buddy. Look guys, I found my gold, my good luck charm. There are some vultures up there on shore. And we're fishing vulture baits. So you know we're destined to catch a hog. Even the fact that we're wearing the follow the action hog hunters hat as well. Double destined to catch a hog. And the dude at the dock sent me his good luck vibes. So that makes us triple destined to catch a hog. Look, there's also a crane on shore. Crane and vultures. Except vultures weren't in Kung Fu Panda. Hmm, they didn't put a vulture in Kung Fu Panda. They put a chicken. Okay, guys, we got another fish on here. This is first cast on that vulture. Woo! That vulture bait. First cast back on that vulture bait's VB Grackle, in which he ridded me off of on the fight. Thought the camera was recording, so y'all only get to see that little last bit. But there we go. Stick that in this cool little hook pad thing. Yada, yada, yada. There's the fish. We're still looking for bigger ones, but nonetheless, we're catching bass. And guys, I fish with the St. Croix Mojo Bass Series. They're an absolutely amazing rod. St. Croix in general is my favorite uh, rod brand. They are truly the best rods on earth, but this one just happens to be my favorite, the Mojo. It's pretty dang affordable, and it's pretty dang reliable and absolutely incredible. So, and I'm feeling everything with it right now. So, Dad, you've caught 10 plus pound bass out of float tubes, right? How crazy is that fight? It's awesome. But the big bass was 13. It was out of the 
You're 13 pounders out of a float tube? Yeah. Gosh yeah, dang. Well. Night fishing, huh? Jeez, okay. The drizzle is officially here. We are definitely headed back kind of speedily, but we are nonetheless fishing our way back. How cool that'd be. I want to catch a bass while it's raining. Life goal. About to fulfill it. That'd be so cool. Catching a giant in the rain. I wish it could be more dramatic if it was like pouring rain, you know? It's like dripping off my hat belt. You guys, you guys get the picture, you know? Here we go. Fish on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was a big run. That was a big freaking run. That feels heavy. That feels heavy. <laughs> yes. Guys, in the rain. In the rain. GoPro, please be recording. Yes. Oh my gosh. This feels heavy. <laughs> the bend of the rod is crazy. Look at that. This is a medium heavy rod. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, frick, 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 frick. Looks like it's coming up. Where's it at? Where's it at? That feels heavy. That feels heavy. Oh my gosh. The, oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, the guys. Oh, what is this? I was spinning around in circles trying to fight this fish. There it is. Freaking <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't even think right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Please, John. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That is a freaking tank. That is a tank. Oh, let's get some video of it here real quick. Okay, guys. That is the toad that we just reeled in. What an absolute beast of a girl. Let's get her de-hooked here real quick. Right there on that side of the gill plate. There she is. Right there. That's her in the rain, in the storm. Let's send her off. This is like my new favorite worm. Vulture, I freaking love you. Okay, pops. <laughs> How long do you want to fish your way back to? You're heading in? Okay. Okay, guys. It is pouring rain. I'm going to head back straight to the dock. After I get that snag out, I'll let you guys know if I catch anything. See you then. Well, everyone, we made it back safely. Not necessarily as dry as we wanted, but this is without a doubt one of the trips that we will never forget. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put the link to Vulture Baits down in the description. Like I said, guys, all the fish caught today were on the Vulture Baits VB Grackles in the petrified color. Other thing you guys can do to help me out is go check out Follow the Action. This is their hog hunter's hat. I'm convinced it brings me good look on the water. And honestly, they have high, high quality outdoor apparel for outdoorsmen. Super incredible designs. And you can get it for 20% off with the code UNREAL. That code and that link will be down in the description as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy fishing, y'all.